Brit. It's written to make a covenant. What does it mean to make a covenant between us? What's the difference between thinking about the covenant, talking about it, or making it? It doesn't matter in which form it is. However, it has to be as complete as possible to create such a connection between us so that each one is responsible for all of us to be connected because integrally each one is integrated with everyone and therefore we have to care for the connection among everyone not just that i'm connected to someone but that all of us are connected to ev to everyone and each one is responsible for everyone well, first we have to create a connection in the ten, and after that we extend this connection to the whole world. PT6. As you, in, in the opening for the lesson, you said that the Creator illuminates upon us only on the condition that we maintain the Avut. Otherwise, where would he shine too? I mean, this is obvious. How can we discover the Creator if we don't have a connection between us so that he can fill up that connection? How does a ten look in which the Creator illuminates? It discovers the Creator filling up space between them. Not in any one of them, each one remains with the will to receive. The will to bestow means Tzum, Masach, and Or Hoser, restriction, screen, and reflected light between each one and the others. And in this Or Hoser, the Creator dresses and He shines. This means that the Creator is revealed between us. He dwells among us. We ourselves remain as the will to receive. Just like we see it in the Pertsuf. Where does it, uh, how does it work? Only through reflect, uh, rejection and ochozel that rises from the Masach to the Rosh. New York, free. What does it mean to hear the voice of the Creator? Well, there are many forms of the uh, appearance of the Creator to the created beings. Seeing, hearing, even tasting, and smelling, and feeling. So hearing means on the degree of Bina, on the degree of bestow. This is called to hear the voice of the Creator. 